Hello students, we are going to take up the topic today to identify the three mineral assets. So what is the question? The question is, how will you identify the three mineral assets? And what are these three mineral assets? These three mineral assets are hydrochloric acid with formula HCl, sulfuric acid with formula H2SO4 and nitric acid having formula HNO3. Now what you have to remember children, these three acids are identified with the chemical, right? And the, these chemicals are special. Why they are special? Because they are going to form either a precipitate, right? Or they are going to, you know, release gas or some, there will be some observation that will help you in identifying the acid. Okay, so first we take up hydrochloric acid. In case of hydrochloric acid, what we do? If the test tube say contains hydrochloric acid we bring a rod dipped in ammonium hydroxide so if the test tube contains hydrochloric acid if the acid inside is hydrochloric acid this is going to combine with ammonium hydroxide and is going to form ammonium chloride along with water this ammonium chloride form is going to have dense white fumes so what will happen as soon as you bring the glass rod or the stopper of the reagent bottle which is dipped or is having ammonium hydroxide so the moment they come in contact HCl and ammonium hydroxide there will be dense white fumes of ammonium chloride and formation of this will confirm the acid is hydrochloric acid okay second if the acid is sulfuric acid what you have to do is you have to add to the test tube containing sulfuric acid barium chloride solution okay so when you add barium chloride barium chloride solution is transparent right and when you add sulfuric acid this is also transparent but what will happen when these two combine immediately the product will be barium sulfate and hydrochloric acid form this compound barium sulfate is curdy white right so it is thick curdy white so as soon you add the two you know these as soon as these two transparent solutions they come together they come in contact with each other immediately a curdy white precipitate is formed of barium sulfate and this confirms the presence of sulfuric acid okay now third we talk about nitric acid nitric acid is identified with the help of brown ring test okay now to perform brown ring test what do we do we take the test tube which is already having the acid x right now in this we add freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution okay so first is nitric acid and second is freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution now what we do from the side of the test tube gradually or very slowly we add concentrated sulfuric acid okay so we slant the test tube and we add concentrated sulfuric acid here you have nitric acid right and over nitric acid you have ferrous sulfate solution and when you add concentrated sulfuric acid this concentrated sulfuric acid goes down and then it reacts with nitric acid and ferrous sulfate and sulfuric acid forms nitroso ferrous sulfate brown color color so what happens the nitric acid reacts with ferrous sulfate along with you know sulfuric acid and NO is released this NO comes up and as soon as it comes in contact with ferrous sulfate it forms brown color ring right so this confirms nitric acid isn't it interesting so all you have to remember is these are three chemicals which are used to identify these three acids so hydrochloric acid the chemical is ammonium hydroxide for sulfuric acid the chemical is barium chloride and for nitric acid you have two 
ferrous sulfate freshly prepared solution and concentrated sulfuric acid what do you get you get nitroso ferrous sulfate brown color ring the moment you shake the test tube this brown color ring disappears right why because nitroso ferrous sulfate is a weak unstable compound and with shaking it breaks okay isn't it interesting okay so we meet you in the next video if you like my video do press the button of like right subscribe this channel so that you get all the new videos okay, thank you